How valuable can the 2017 penny be? Regular pennies struck for business use. Are they even worth looking for? Are they worth saving? We'll tell you right now. Absolutely. We will talk about them right after this. Hey YouTubers, this is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency. We have new videos every day and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or find that one valuable coin that could change your life. Now in this video, we will talk about 2017 pennies. And since over two years has passed since they were issued, we want to see where their value is now. We're curious especially about pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint since they were highly sought after being minted. Also, we will give an answer to many of our viewers asking us, should we open up new rolls of coins, crack open mint or proof sets, etc. It's easier for us to cover this topic here than reply to every single email. And we think many might find this topic interesting and helpful. Also, to make it more fun, this is a giveaway video. We will give you details about it later. So, let's start with regular pennies struck for business use at the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. The Philadelphia Mint struck 4.3 billion pennies that year. It's a large number, but very typical number for newer pennies. These pennies will bear a P mint mark. The Philadelphia Mint, to celebrate their 225th anniversary, decided to make the Lincoln Cent minted in 2017 very special and placed the P mint mark on the pennies during that year only. And they released them to the public in circulation without a word and waited to see how long it would take to be found. The first one was found in February of 2017 in a little town in North Carolina at a gas station. From this point of view alone, this year is very special and highly collectible. Also, when you see a 2017 penny, check if it has any mint mark. Since it is a transitional penny, it's a one year only issue. It's struck with the letter P only for one year. Many collectors hope that the Philadelphia Mint might have struck some in error without the mint mark. So far, no news on that. But remember, many error coins were discovered many years after the coins were struck, sometimes decades. So pay attention to them. It is hard for us to believe, but many states in the US still haven't seen that penny in circulation. And we're shooting this video in the summer of 2019, two and a half years after the coin was released. And we know of many people that have never seen one. The first 2000 P pennies found in 2017, and even boxes of them were selling for huge money. The boxes of 50 penny rolls were selling for $600, $700, and even more. So how does this situation look today? Well, starting with unopened sealed boxes of new 2017 P pennies, just like back then, they're still selling for good money. And one of the reasons is the fact we just mentioned. 
not everybody has seen them yet. Another is the coins found in circulation are pretty beat up after being in use for over two years. So for many, the only way to get nice coins is to either buy them, especially if you're looking for a penny in a very high grade. New rolls of pennies is definitely the way to go. They also have many, many errors, like a double die obverse, a double die reverse, multiple die cracks, die clashes, cuds, chips. We can't possibly list them all. For that, you would need to check our error and variety coin list on our website, jbcoinsinc.com. Some are very valuable, like a TDO. Have you ever heard of that? That's a triple die obverse. So again, buying new rolls is a very good option. And if you would find something valuable in them, the $70 investment might pay you back big time. The boxes start on eBay currently for $75 and go up to $120, depending on the seller. Like we said, it's not a bad profit for the seller since the cost of the box is only $25. Now, speaking of coins in high grade, the highest grade known for a 2017p penny is MS68 Red. And this coin, which is the latest sale, sold for $600. So they're still keeping a good value. Obviously, a coin in the next grade would be worth thousands. So looking for them is not a bad idea. Now, moving on to the Denver Mint. The Denver Mint struck 4.2 billion pennies that year, a very close number to the Philadelphia Mint and it will bear a D mint mark. The highest grade known is also MS68 Red, and this coin, which again is the latest sale, sold for $406. So, as you can see, the 2017 P pennies in the same grade are selling for more. Now, for proof pennies struck at the San Francisco Mint that year, we won't spend a lot of time here since they're not worth a lot. They will have an S mint mark and a shiny proof finish. They were struck for collectors only and not released into circulation. They were struck with good quality like most of the proof pennies and in the highest grade possible Proof 70 Decam or Deep Cameo, which is the best possible finish on the coin. It sells on average for only about 25 bucks. In fact, this coin sold in July of this year for only $23. It's actually very typical for proof coins. But what's not typical for proof coins, and it happened that year, is a huge minage. The San Francisco Mint struck over 4 billion proof coins. How weird is that? Now, the San Francisco Mint also struck an enhanced uncirculated penny that year. They were sold in the enhanced uncirculated coin sets. They were issued again to celebrate the 225th anniversary of the U.S. Mint. And they were sold out at the Mint within one minute of going on sale. Beautiful coins. They have a special finish and you can see a comparison in this picture. Now, the San Francisco Mint struck only 977,000 of these. They do sell for more than proof pennies, but not a lot more. This coin in the highest grade, Special Proof 70, and also 
it's a first day of issue, which adds value to it. Sold in May of this year for $70. It's not as much as you'd expect for such a special coin. But from the collector's point of view, you definitely need to have it. From the monetary point of view, the business strike pennies are worth more. But again, if you're collecting Lincoln cents, you will need to have them all. And the year 2017 is definitely a very important one in the entire Lincoln Cent series. Now, before we talk about the last topic in this video, we quickly want to let you know that in this video, we will give away a total of four brand new 2017 P penny rolls. BU condition, unopened, unsearched to four of our subscribers, one to each. So we will have four winners. Each winner will receive one roll. The giveaway is free. It starts at the time of posting this video and will end on Wednesday, August 14th at 10 p.m. Eastern during our Wednesday night coin roll hunting live stream. We will choose the winner using the random comment picker. All you need to do is be our subscriber and leave a comment below this video letting us know if you have any 2017 P pennies. That's all. More info will be posted below this video. Now, the last topic in this video will answer one of the most common questions we're receiving constantly. It's should I open my new rolls, mint sets, etc. We actually had that question pop up in our last live stream and it was related to new rolls of 2017 P pennies. Obviously, it depends on what you're trying to achieve and what type of roll or set do you have. And it requires a lot of research before you make that decision. If you're looking for an error coin or a highly gradable coin, then if you don't open it, you won't find it. If you have a proof set and have coins in it that in the highest grade are worth only a few bucks, maybe keeping them unopened is not a bad option. Now, some sets like the 2000 Millennium Coin and Currency set, for example, is much more valuable if it's unopened. It's even more valuable if it still has the wrapper on it. Not because the coins from that set aren't worth a lot. Quite the opposite, they are. This is only an example. There are many, many more like it. But again, you need to do your research. If you want to grade some of your coins from a set, you need to check with a grading agency what rules they have for grading coins from sets. Because for some sets, like the 65 to 67 SMS, for example, PCGS, for instance, will want you to send the whole set, even if you want to grade one coin from that set only. You need to indicate which coin it is and let them know so they don't grade the whole set. If you want to grade a new coin that has just been released by the Mint, sending your coins ASAP is another good approach. The first coin in the highest grade is always bringing the most money at auctions. Before more coins in the same grade or higher are discovered and graded, also, for some coins, you might receive a first day of issue or early designation slab, which will also bring more value to your coin. But again, you need to submit your coin on time and follow the rules of your preferred grading company. So again, it depends on what you're trying to achieve and on the type of coin you have. But we hope this will help you at least decide and start the process. Now, going back to 2017 pennies. 
The most valuable penny from that year, until now at least, is an error penny. Now we did a video about that coin and we will link it in the upper left corner of this one. It's very cool and very, very pricey error. So please watch if you haven't and please enjoy. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos like this for you. Good luck, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.